We're dining at Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. Let's Jay. And I'm Sam. And you're watching the theme park movies and we're about to eat at a very angry man's restaurant here in Icon Park. Icon Park is located within the Orlando area. It's where you can find the Orlando Eye, which is kind of like a signature attraction here in Orlando. And it gives amazing views of Orlando and all of Central Florida. You pretty much see all of the different attractions from up there, Disney World, Universal. But we're not here for the eye. We're here for some of the food, some of the exclusive food that you can be found in Icon Park, like where, Sam? Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. Yes, I'm sure you guys all know who Gordon Ramsay is, but if you don't, he is an iconic chef known for his uh, attention to detail and how meticulous he is about the dishes that he produces. Um, he's very angry on TV, uh, but he has opened a fish and chip spot, which is kind of reminiscent to me like Guy Fieri's uh, Chicken Guy, but only with fish and chips, right? Yes. We're actually like right behind the eye right now. Yeah. It, it's a, it, there's a nice, it's a, it's a nice spot that's kind of like centered, or uh, I shouldn't say centered, but uh, positioned right in front of the Orlando eye. Uh, the food I'm hearing is very good. I'm a big fan of fish. Sam, unfortunately, is not a big fan of fish. She may try one, but I think you're going to go more for the chicken, right? Yeah. So you don't like fish and chips. Yeah, you can see what she thinks of the chicken. I'm have a little bite of that chicken too. I hear the chips are great. Um, I am very hungry. I am very excited to eat here. I've been wanting to eat here for a while, so I'm, I'm happy we positioned there, this. There's so much to do in yeah. this area. Like, there's yeah. a lot of food. You have the Tin Roof, uh, which is like a live music joint. Uh, it's right across from Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. Sugar there's Factory. Sugar Factory. There's a Carabas. Uh, there is a, a Shake Shack. Super touristy area. Yes. There's tons of shopping. Yes. Uh, the Wax Museum. All yeah. those very, very touristy attractions are all right here at Icon Park. Yeah, so if you're looking for a little, like, kind of getaway maybe from, I mean, it's not a getaway from the park, so there's still going to be some crowds <laughs> here. Uh, but if you're looking for something a little, little more touristy or, or, something, or, you know, looking for some gifts or maybe some familiar uh, fast food places from home, this is definitely a place to find. As well as the Orlando Eye and the Starflyer, which are notable attractions here. Uh, there's also a lot inside, but I'm more so here for the fish and chips. And are you ready to, to try Gordon Ramsay's fish or Gordon Ramsay's chicken, Sam? Sure. All right. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our lunch here at Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. All right, we're heading in, and the doors are kind of themed like uh, doors you would find or um, phone booths you'll find in England. Thanks, Sam. Oh, you can smell the fish in here. <laughs> All right, so we're still waiting for our food, but Sam actually got the lemonade, which is made in-house. Looks very good. And I got the uh, Biscoff cookie shake. So I think we're going to try those out maybe before we get our food. You know, seating area out here. It kind of reminds me of Disney Springs a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's an all-enclosed. I don't know. I don't know. All right, spoiler alert. We were number 28. We have all of our food now. I got the fish and chips, the lobster tail. I got two extra sauces. I got uh, the Gordon Ramsay's tartar sauce, uh, as well as the sriracha uh, mayo. Um, I think I got the ranch. I also got uh, uh, Gordon's cocktail sauce. Yes, what dips did you get? Yeah. <laughs> I got the Dijon and the ranch. So you got the Dijon and the ranch, all right. And uh, Sam, you got the chicken sandwiches. So they come as like two little tacos. Oh, okay. And I got the, I upgraded to the, the dirty number two, which yes. was a- You can get some dirty chips. So I'll be trying those out. I got the standard chips. All right, Sam, you want to try your lemonade out first since that's where we're about to start? Okay, in-house lemonade. It's more uh, tart than sweet. 31, good, 31. Lemonade. Okay. All right, Sam is about to try her first chicken from Gordon Ramsay. Chicken witch. Chicken witch. It reminds me of a Ronto wrap. Yeah. It's a chicken finger, because it does have like the cabbage flaw that you have in a Ronto wrap. There's also house-made pickles on it. 
Roma tomatoes. The chicken looks really good too. Nice, so, nice. Excited to try this. How is it? It's really good. <laughs> the chicken is super crispy. Very, very crispy. I really like the naan bread. I like the crunch from the abattoir. It really is like a Ronto wrap with like a really good chicken tender on it. What would you give it? One out of ten. Two of them, and look how many fries there. Oh have. yeah, we gotta look at those dirt fries. Right. Dirty truffle fries. All right, so we'll do two numbers. First number is for the chicken. What would you give that? I give it an eight. Oh for wow. For a chicken sandwich, I really like it. I never had a chicken sandwich on non bread. And now the truffle fries. The fries I would give it seven. Or chips. Okay. I like the flavor. I just like a more. Um, thinner, like shoestring crispier. Understandable. All right, Sam is about to try the Dijon mayonnaise and the Southwest Ranch. That's a Dijon mayonnaise right there. Looks very mayonnaise. Mayonnaise on a fry. I don't really taste the Dijon. I feel like I'm just eating mayonnaise, which is kind of <laughs> weird. One out of ten for the sauce. Eesh. Okay, sauces ain't doing good. Ain't chicken guy level. Some furniture is being moved. All right, that's the that's the ranch. It's the Southwest Ranch. Southwest Ranch. Very spicy. <laughs> no, it's like really. Spicy. I thought it was Sriracha Ranch, but I guess it's Southwest. Uh. Yeah, Southwest. It's very very spicy. One out of ten. Six, only spices. Spice, spice ain't your flavor. All right, so I'm going to try the... There's a train going by yes, also. Yes, we have a little train that goes by here. Let's see all the stuff. I'm going to try this lobster tail first. It's an $8 upcharge for the lobster. You're Look a big that. spender, Jay. I am a big spender. My grandfather would say that. Big spender. Um, I don't really on that big of a spender. I think you are when it comes to food, mm. but like n not everything else. Mmm. Quick service lobster. How do you feel? That's very good. The fry is so good on it. Yeah, like the coating that's on the chicken was really amazing. Like it was so crunchy. And this sauce is very thick. This uh, cocktail sauce, which I wasn't expecting. I would give the lobster with the fry, I would give it eight, and I would also give the sauce like a seven. So eight for lobster, seven for sauce. It's a very thick sauce. It's a good sauce, so both are well above average. And I'd be very happy getting this again. Worth the $8 upcharge. I'll see when I try the natural chip, but I still think it's very good. All right, so for the standard chip, and look at the size of these things too, Sam. I'm gonna put a little, a little lemon, and I'm gonna try the Gordon's Tartar. This is the house-made tartar sauce, what they're known for. And the only other location is in Vegas, right? I think there's only two of these in the world. That would be my favorite fish and chip I've ever had. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna try it with your um, Southwest Ranch, the spice sauce. It's really has a kick. Mm. The tartar, I'd give it six. It's good. The fish, this is the best fish I ever had. That's right, best fish and chip, better than anything in Disney. Maybe I would say on the same level as the fish and chips I had inside the Wilson Crown restaurant. But quick service. Not the quick service. No, I'm and saying, but quick service, quick service wise. Best I ever had. Um, these are a nine for me. And I'm a fan of fish and chips, so I'm really enjoying these. And the sauce, I give a six two. And then this, I would, I'd also give a, I give this a seven. I kind of like the spice in it. Okay, so this is the chip. In America, we call these French fries, but when you're inside Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips here in the UK, it's elevated. It's good. This is the curry sauce. Yeah. Mmm. 
This might be my favorite sauce. I'm giving this sauce an eight. The chip, it's good. It's not overly fried. It's moist in the center, crispy on the outside. It's a good chip. It's a six of a chip. But the fish, definitely, it's a reason it's a fish and chip place. Very good. And I thought the sauces were good too. All in all, so far, a great meal. Lotus shakes. Sam, I've been looking forward to this. Biscoff. Biscoff shakes. You said Lotus. Can I take the cookie off first? Well, I guess you just did. Mm. That reminds me of Delta. Mm -hmm. They always give those oh, out on so the Delta flights. Yeah, I, I felt like there was no way that wasn't going to be great. It's a cookie butter shake. Yeah. So good. I'm going to give this an eight. That's really good. On the way out, we were offered a uh, little uh, sample. sample of Coco Crazy. We're actually enjoying it. It's, uh, it's I believe it's made with fresh coconut. They had fresh coconut sitting here. As the fresh coconuts are, uh, I hope they're not props. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's making them fresh. He was very nice. And they I have a, to support like a smaller yeah. uh, business here. They have cream ice and they have a uh, white ice. Uh, water, would, ice. water ice. Uh, we got the cream. Uh, I would give my water ice a, a, a seven. What about? I would give this an eight. It's really good. It's really refreshing. Yeah, very refreshing on a hot day. All right, so that does it for our time here at Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. Uh, Sim, what did you think of uh, the chicken that she had? I know you didn't like the I fish. I really like the chicken sandwich a <laughs> lot. Like, and I was happy that there was an option that wasn't a seafood for me. Ed was still really good because you, if it's not known for their chicken yeah. sandwich, you know, you don't know how it's gonna be. Yeah. It, um, it exceeded my expectations. Although I wasn't impressed by the sauces. Uh, the sauces I thought were okay. I thought the tartar sauce is gonna be better than what it was. Um, I do also uh, want to. I think my favorite sauce is the curry sauce, and the Biscoff shake was really good. I, you had some I, of that, I tried right? it; it was amazing. That was one of the best shakes, and also the fish. That was the best quick service fish and chips I think I ever had. Whatever, however they fry it or coat yeah. it, whatever they're doing is perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. I like the theming of it as well. It was very small, uh, but it was. They had like a, a water feature in front of it, which made it look like it was an island almost, like how mm -hmm. the UK is. Uh, also, they have some shirts in there. I wanted to bring up as well. Uh, all in all, it was a great time. The, uh, I was about to say cast members, but the employees uh, were great there. Uh, they were very accommodating, and I do like how you have some outdoor seating in the shade. Um, yeah, I couldn't eat indoors, though, because obviously <laughs> it's super fish smell in there. Yeah, it smells like me. fish. I, yeah. obviously, I thought it would be uh, less fishy than what it was. I expected it smell like that, but yeah. I couldn't. I, th I expected it to be less fishy, but it was still pretty fishy. Uh, all in all, though, probably my favorite fish and chip I ever had. I would definitely frequent here if we were a bit closer. And uh, the Biscoff shake, ooh, I would come just for that. Fish, uh, the chip, you know what? The chips I want to say I thought would be a little bit better. Yeah. You know, uh, they, they were, were they good. were just okay. They were definitely the fish. I didn't try your chicken, but the fish and the Biscoff shake were the highlight for me. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. Push this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out. Which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't the days count. See you next time. That's all, folks. We we're kind of like tucked away in the corner back here. Oh, there's the star flyer I brought up earlier. It's kind of weird and weird spot if you think about it, because it's just kind of sitting off in the into the distance, lot. yeah, into the parking lot.